this project, a simple mass family, has been placed on the foundation level and the floors, 01 floor and 02 floor, have been applied to the mass form. So I'm ready to do the, the analysis. My first step here under the energy settings is I can choose a building type and there's lots of different building types available on the list here. You would choose the one that's appropriate or closest to the building that you're actually designing. Um, on the right here, what I'm bringing up is a, a screen capture from the help file that shows the values that are actually associated with your choice of office. So you can see where the, uh, for example, the number of people assumed to be in the building comes from as, uh, in, in terms of the number of people per area and also things like lighting fixtures, miscellaneous equipment. So my next step is under the energy model itself, I can say that I want to create an energy model. I need to put the checkbox in. The perimeter offset will give me a sealed airspace, if you like, back from the outside perimeter of the building. Default setting is 15 feet. I'm just going to leave it at that initially. Uh, divide perimeter zones, if I check that on, it'll divide those areas up and make adjustments uh, relative to the size of the building as to how many divisions there are. Conceptual constructions, if I say edit, you can see that the mass itself has these different uh, categories of information, the exterior wall, mass exterior wall, interior wall, exterior wall, underground, roof, floor, slab, glazing, skylight. All of these on the right hand side here are default settings. And again, uh, you can set the values to whatever you want. Let me bring up an illustration on the right here to give you an idea of what the uh, actual settings give you, which is to do with the physical properties of the wall. Probably most specifically the, the, the R value or U value, depending on how you think about uh, walls and whether they're good insulators or bad insulators. So typically here it's the R value, a high R value indicates uh, high insulation. And th this could be applied to all of these, you find all of the values in the help file. Uh, percentage glazing, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at the default to 40. Sill height, you can set that to any height that you want. If you specified uh, such a high percentage of glazing that it couldn't keep the 2 foot 6 sill height, then it will move the bottom of the glazing down. Um, is the glazing to be shaded or not? At the moment I'm saying it's not shaded. Uh, if I did, I'll be able to choose a shade depth. Percentage skylights, I'm saying none at the moment. Building operating schedule, um, I'm just going to bring up the value on the right hand side. When I said office, it assumed uh, this kind of occupancy for the building. If I were to want to change that, I could come down here and I could actually change the value from the occupancy associated with the building type. I'm not going to change it, just wanted to, to show you that you could change it. HVAC system, there's many different types. I'm just going to leave it with the default at the moment. And indoor, outdoor air information, I'm not changing any of this at the moment. I'm just leaving that with the defaults. So what I want you to see is when I click OK, I see the values applied and I can look at the model as a mass form, surface model like this, or a show mass, show mass zones. 